What's up guys, my name is Jay and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can track button clicks on your website using Google Tag Manager. So it's very simple, um, my goal is to track this uh, buy now button. I have this website that I use for um, testing purposes, it's a, it's a WordPress site, but you can do this on any website, it doesn't have to be WordPress, okay? So I have this button here, buy now, I want to track it. I want to know um, how many people click on it. And then I want to know where these people is coming from, where they live and all that. And that's why I want you to set up um, a Google Analytics if you don't have one. It's very simple. There's a link on this video. So go there, set up, install. It's very simple. They're going to give you a code and you're going to put that code on your website and that's it. Same thing with Google Tag Manager. Um, there's a link on the description of the video. Go there and set it up. It's very easy, very quick. All right, so now um, if you have both um, set it up and ready to go, all I want you to do is make sure you have some kind of CSS class on this button. So right now, if I, if I inspect this code right here, let me see this button. So you can see that I have a buy now class here. Simple, it's a buy now class. If you don't have one, just add one because we're going to use it. Okay, it's a CSS class. All right, so after that's done, we're going to go to the Google Tag Manager. So you're going to see something like this before, um, after it's set up and you will see here like your account and whatever you named um, this container. And then after you're here, I want you to go and click on variables. So click there. And you will see some options. Maybe you don't see all these um, click options. So if you don't, the one that we're gonna use is this one, click classes, okay? So I want you to click configured and then you can scroll down a little bit and you will see all these clicks variables that we have here. You don't have to choose all of them, but if you want to, you can. So the one that we're gonna use is this one, but I think you can just choose one, all of them and then you can play with them because um, there is a lot of more options. So when that's done, you can close it and you will see your list here. So if you see that, you're good to go. So now after that's done, I want you to go to triggers, okay? Click on triggers. As you can see, I have here a read more click already set up. Um, this is this button which is actually, um, sorry, it's a learn more click. All right, so it's learn more click, this one. So right now I wanna set up the buy now button, okay? So we're gonna click new. You can name it like buy now click, for example. You can name it whatever you want, really. It doesn't have to be that. And now I can click here. And you will see some options. So the one that I want is, um, you have here the click category, you have the options of all elements, so you can actually um, track every single click on your website or just some links, which this is what I want. So I'm gonna click there. All right, um, trigger click, yes, this is gonna be like that. You don't have to um, check this ones, but you can read it if, you're, um, if you wanna uh, learn more about it. And here, I want to click on only some links, which I'm, I want to be very, very specific. So I have here, click classes. Yes, this is the one I want, but you have all the other options um, that I mentioned earlier. You can actually enable them or disable them and you will see them here. So click classes, this is the one that I want. Um, it's going to contain or it can be like, it's equal, starts with all these options. So you have all this to play with. So for now, I'm gonna I'm going to use contain, which is just saying like, if the class contains this, then do it. All right, so we're gonna go back. Let's make sure we have the correct class, this buy now button. So it's very simple, it's just buy now. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this one. So just copy, go back paste it. All right, and I think we're good to go. So you're going to click save here. And now you will see here, um, we have buy now click, 
just links, um, click with classes, contains by now. Perfect. I think this is good. So now after you're done with this, you're going to go to the tags. And this is what we're going to use um, to connect them with the analytics. And we can actually go to analytics and read all the clicks and all the information. So you will see that I have already one um, here for the learn more button. This one right here. And we're going to do kind of the same thing. So let's click new. We're going to change the name here to like by now. Whoops. By now. All right. Click on tag configuration. And here I want to choose um, a Google Analytics Universal Analytics. Remember, you need to have your analytics already set up on your website. Okay, so click there. And here we're going to change it to event. This is what we want. We want an event. And here a category. Um, category can be like buttons. I think that's what I have. The action is a click. And the label, it can be like by now. So we can know what it is, right? All right, and now this is very important. The last thing we're going to do is selecting the Google Analytics setting. I already have one here, but if you don't, if it's empty, just just click on new variable. And you're going to see this um, this field. So you need the tracking ID of your Google Analytics. OK, if you don't know how to find it, there is a link on the description of this video on how to find this ID It's very, very easy. But if you don't know, just go there, click there and just follow um, all the instructions. And after you're done, you click save and that's it. OK, and then you can choose it. You will have it right here. So I'm going to click there. All right. So after this is done, you have to select a trigger. And my trigger is this by now click. And that's it. So let's click Save. Cool. So now after you have it here, you can click so we can test it and we can make sure that it's working before we actually publish these changes and we make it live. Let's click preview right here. All right, and now we are in previewing mode. So now you can go back to your website, reload the site, and you will see this. This Google Tag Manager, it looks like the, um, the inspector, something like that, but it's for Google Tag Manager. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Let's, let me zoom out a little bit. Let's click on this uh, buy now button. All right, it opens on a new window. Let me close it. And let's go back here. Let's see what we have. So we have this new thing right now because we clicked. It says GTM link click. I'm going to click there. And you will see that it says tax fire on this event. It says buy now Google Analytics. If you see that, if you see this, it seems like it's working perfectly. If you go to variables, you can see all this information that we have. OK, all this CSS classes by now um, the click element where it's going is going to my YouTube channel right now. Uh, target blank. Um, the text of that button is by now the click URL is my YouTube channel and all this, which is very, very helpful. Uh, the page path, the page URL. So this is great if you want to keep playing with it. But I mean, for now, um, I can see that my click class is the by now, which is correct, which it seems like is working. OK, we have the event by now is going to the Google Analytics and all these variables. They seems like they look great. So if you're happy with it, go back here. You can click on leave the preview mode so you can kind of um, just cancel that preview mode because you're good. And now you can click on submit. OK, you can add something like, I don't know, buy now button. 
and you can click publish for now. You can add description. You want to be more descriptive, like I did this, I did that. This is working or whatever you want to put in here. Let's click publish. Awesome. So now we can see that everything is publish. Version two is live, which my version, my first version was, was with the learn more button. All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reload the page. Okay, cool. Now we are not in the live like preview mode. So now let's go to analytics because I wanna see if this is working. I wanna go to real time um, events. Okay. And I wanna change it to last 30 minutes. So I wanna see what's happening right now. So let's go ahead and click the buy now button. Okay, it opens the page, close that. Let's go to analytics and here you go. As you can see, we have one event. Here you can see per second, we have it here. So it's actually working. Let's click here on buttons. There you go, buy now. All right, let's do it again. Let's go back to events, let's clear this. All right. Let's go again, let's do it again. All right. Look at that. You see how it turns green? That's because it happened right now. And you can see it here. So in less than one minute, we had two events. There you go. We actually have three because the first one is counting the like the, the preview mode. Um, so it's working now. We can actually track that click and we can know, um, you know, the person where the where the person is, um, the time that, per, that people are clicking and all that information for your buttons. And you can do this with all the buttons you can you don't have to do it with specific specific buttons. You can do it all your website. You can kind of track like all the buy nows from your website, all the learn mores, or you can be very, very specific and just only this one. But keep in mind, right now we have a class of buy now. If we use the same class of buy now in a different button, it's gonna track that button too, okay? Keep it in mind. All right, and that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.